Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, saints of the Most High God. It is me, Elder Brown, once again, praise God, with a super short sermon. This is probably going to be one of the most exhaustive Bible studies that you've had in the least and the smallest fraction amount of time that you've ever had in your life. Are you ready? Set go. Praise God. We're coming from Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Hallelujah. And it says the first through the third verse there. Therefore now remaineth a rest for the people of God. For if they had entered into that rest, then God would not have said to them, there remaineth yet a rest for them. But they were not able to enter into that rest because of unbelief. Let us therefore now fear, lest the ex we falleth under the same example of unbelief. For the word was preached to them and to us, but the word did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard the word. Praise God. So now, hallelujah. Saying all that from Hebrews 4, hallelujah. Now, let me give you an exhaustive Bible study. Genesis 2 Second Chronicles. Genesis to Second Chronicles takes up the full timeline of the Old Testament. Everything after that, hallelujah, from First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, okay, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, then Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nah, uh, uh, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah and Malachi were just supplementals to teach us what the prophets said to them between, hallelujah, the books of Joshua all the way up to Second Chronicles to prevent them from going into captivity. You see, from Genesis, hallelujah, to Second Kings is creation to captivity. Creation to captivity. The book of Genesis has 50 chapters, hallelujah, and that's from creation, hallelujah, to Joseph. And the book of Genesis ends, hallelujah, in the 50th chapter with Joseph dying in Egypt, hallelujah, and his uh, bones, hallelujah, uh, they promised to carry Joseph's bones, Joseph's bones back to the sepulcher that Jacob had purchased. Okay, so that's where they were, 70 souls all in Egypt. But miraculously between, hallelujah, the 50th chapter of uh, Genesis and the first chapter of Exodus, they had grown from 70 people to well over a million people, hallelujah. So Genesis, hallelujah, ends with them being in a form of, of captivity, a, a metaphorical captivity, but not a literal captivity. Then Exodus begins with them being in a literal captivity. God sent Moses to break them out of captivity, but by Second Chronicles, and then you know Samuel, the prophecy, the prophets uh, start in the book of Samuel, First Samuel, Second Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, and what this shows is the full empire of the Jews being formed and falling. The empire formed, the empire fell between 1 Samuel and 2 Chronicles. And that chronologically ends the whole book of the Old Testament. The whole Old Testament ends in 2 Chronicles. Now, I said all of that to you to say this. Hallelujah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Because see, what happened to them in the Old Testament, praise God, can happen to us. Hallelujah. You can do something that was not ordained for you to do. You can do something that was a salvation to you, that made you busy, that occupied your time, that, that delivered you from yourself. But God is a God, hallelujah, who is sovereign. That means that he reserves the right to turn you in a 180 degree uh, angle at any given time. And sometimes the very thing that delivered you, the very thing that saved you, hallelujah, if you stay there too long and if you're not malleable and adaptable to the will of God, hallelujah, what was a blessing to you at one time can become a curse. Hallelujah. So 